back again and I'm still staying on the same timeline. If I sound funny, it's because I'm in a state of shock. Remember how I was talking here and even made fun of it in the blood moon thing about how this is really, you have to add 30 to the souls to get AD. This is 2041 AD and Christ is saying to the foolish virgins who are the politicizing Christians, the pro-lifers, because pro-life is anti-God. Uk oida humas. I don't know you. That means there's going to be a wide scale. It won't necessarily look like that because God is gracious. It's like the 40 years in the wilderness because that 40 years in the wilderness started right up here. That's the year 2001. Usted And later on in verse 11. By the time of the end of verse 12, the 40 years in the wilderness are completed for the politicizing Christians who actually started in 1960 and that was back up here okay well yeah it started back up here in 19 this is 1959 up here this is 1960 this is when the politicization started under Jerry Falwell which later became known as the moral majority and of course his son is backing Donald Trump now so that whole phase of history ends 2041 with the end of this parable and it's not a good end okay but and this is what's making me freak out the next segment of history beginning contiguous to it starting right here is a sort of like a hiatus period Grigorete means be alert and it ends in 2061 this is the period where, where God's going to wipe out the terrorists and all that stuff because they started 120 years prior in 1941, which of course was the beginning of World War um, II. See, this is 1940. And this is 1941, and it means to pour forth. That's a pretty good description of war. You know, pour forth. And of course, it's also advising the foolish virgins. All right? You know, they wanted, the foolish virgins wanted to take the oil, the resources, the spiritual knowledge of the wise ones. And the wise ones say, there's not enough for both of us. Go get your own. Well, go get is right here. Yeah, and so they went and go got, tried to go get it politically, which is World War II. All right, that phase is 120 years long. It goes all the way back to 638 A.D. I've traced it in other videos called How Satan Deploys Islam. And that goes all the way back to 638 A.D. And it's it's on a schedule. It's on a 430-year schedule to mimic Exodus 12, 40, and 41. The latest occurrence, um, starting a little bit early because of World War I, was 1941. And you know how anti-Semitic that was. That ends in 2061. So the whole terrorist thing is going to go back underground by 2061. But starting in 2062, and this is the reason for my my extreme shock, all of you guys who are millennials, you're going to be in your 60s then. It's you and your kids and your kids' kids that are the focus of history. And it was a millennial. I'm sorry, I'm having a lot of trouble talking. It was a millennial who found this passage. Could God make it plainer? I didn't find this. I knew the technique. He learned the technique from seeing my other videos. And he found this passage. And for five years he told me, Brenda, you got to look at this. And for five years I kept saying to him, nah. Yeah, well, I'm wrong. He's right. And, you know, between the two of us, we, we he catches my mistakes and I catch his mistakes. And right now this is where we're at. We still got a couple of mistakes to fix. But it's not a mistake here. I'm sorry, I'm going to cry. I think I'm going to have to stop. You guys are the ones who are important. You, the millennials. You, your kids, and your grandkids. And, like, that's why I'm here. i I got to stop. I'll come back. I'm, I'm crying too much, and it's going to short-circuit the computer. <laughs>